Once again, you are welcome to Angel Health Academy. The subject for the session is Community Health Nursing Mnemonics. The topic for the day is Primary Health Care. Primary Health Care. First is Definition of Primary Health Care. Primary Health Care is Essential Health Care based on practical, scientifically sound and socially acceptable methods and technology made universally available to individuals and families in the communities through their full participation and at a cost that the community and country can afford to maintain at every stage of their development in the spirit of self-determination. So according to Alma Atta declaration or Alma Atta conference, primary health care is the essential health care. That is very essential for everyone. Essential health care based on practical, primary health care is practical one and it was proved scientifically. So scientifically sound and socially acceptable by all the section of the community people, socially acceptable methods and the advanced technology made this primary health care is universally available and accessible. It is universally accessible to all the individuals and the families in the communities through their full participation. Here to achieve primary health care or to receive the primary health care, there would be participation from the community people through their full participation and at a cost that the community and country can afford. Any person, any community, any country can afford the expenditure of this primary health care. It is cheap and best at a cost that the community and country can afford to maintain at every stage of their development in the spirit of self-determination. They have to accept it positively, the primary health care, because it is an essential health care. It is practically sound, scientifically sound and socially acceptable method. Technology made universally accessible and available to individuals, families in the different communities but only thing through their full participation and at a cost that the community and country can afford to maintain at every stage of their development in the speed of self-determination. This is the definition for primary health care by Alma Atta Conference. 1978 uh, Alma Atta Conference declared primary health care as the universal health care to achieve the goal of health for all by 2008. The second area, the characteristics of primary health care. So, first one is, it is a first level of contact between a, an individual or family or community to the health system. Primary health care is the first level contact. The characteristics of primary health care includes, it is first level contact and health approach is health by the people. That is, it is for the people and by the people. It is an essential health care. It is universally available and accessible and it can be acceptable by all the section of the community. The only thing is through community participation only it could be available to the individual or to the community. The next uh, session is elements of primary health care. What are the elements of primary health care or elements in primary health care? I have been made a mnemonic for elements of primary health care like elements only E-L-E-M-E-N-T-S. Let us expand the elements. The E stands for education. E stands for education. L stands for locally endemic diseases. Locally endemic diseases. E stands for expanded program on immunization. Expanded program on immunization. M stands for maternal and child health including family planning. Maternal and child health and family planning. E stands for essential drugs. E stands for essential drugs. N stands for nutrition. T stands for treatment. And S stands for safe drinking water and basic sanitation. S stands for safe drinking water and basic sanitation. Let us explain in detail the elements in primary health care. The first element is education. So education of the people about the prevailing health problems 
and the methods of preventing and controlling the education of the people, individual, family or community, that is the people, about the prevailing health problems. Prevailing health problem means present health problems in their community. And the methods of preventing and controlling that health problems. So, education of the people about prevailing health problems and the methods of preventing and controlling them. Second, the L stands for locally endemic diseases. Locally endemic diseases means a disease can present in a, a, a specific locality. That is called as locally endemic diseases. That varies from community to community. Here, the elements is uh, locally endemic disease means prevention and control of locally endemic diseases. So, prevention and control of locally endemic disease, that is the second element. Third element is expanded program on immunization. That means immunization against the major infectious diseases. Seven killer or vaccine preventable diseases. Immunization against major infectious diseases. That is the third element. Fourth element is maternal and child health care. That is maternal and child health including family planning. That is the services, MCH services. Now it is replaced into RCH services. So MCH services including family planning. Fifth element is essential drugs, provision of essential drugs or distribution of essential drugs at free of cost. Uh, N stands for nutrition that is promotion of food supply and proper nutrition. Promotion of food supply and proper nutrition. T stands for treatment, appropriate treatment of common diseases, injuries and making referral services if necessary. Treatment that is appropriate treatment of common diseases, injuries and referral services. The last element is uh, S stands for safe water. Adequate supply of safe water and basic sanitation. Adequate supply of uh, safe water and basic sanitation. So these are the eight important elements in uh, primary health care. So the elements are. E stands for education, L stands for locally endemic diseases, E stands for expanded program on immunization, M stands for maternal and child health including family planning, E stands for essential drugs, N stands for nutrition, T stands for uh, treatment and S stands for safe drinking water and basic sanitation. The next uh, uh, session is principles of primary health care. Principles of primary health care. The mnemonic I have made for principles of primary health care is EC map. E C map. E stands for equitable distribution. C stands for community participation. M stands for multi-sectoral approach. A stands for appropriate technology. P stands for prevention focus or focus on prevention. Let us explain in detail the principles of uh, primary health care. There are mainly five principles in almost all the book says equitable distribution, community participation, multi-sectoral approach, appropriate technology and uh, prevention focus or focus on prevention. A few books have given uh, one more principle that is I have made here, uh, made here is other principle that is manpower development, development of the health personnel, manpower development. Let us discuss in detail principles of primary health care. The first principle is equitable distribution. Health services must be distributed equally without any discrimination of age, sex, caste, education, uh, economic status, background, etc. So here we have uh, two concepts that is social justice and social injustice. What is social justice? When health services given equally, uh, equally to the people, we, we can call it as a social justice. Now social injustice means Shifting the health care system from the cities where 20 percentage of the people sharing 80 percentage of health services to the rural area where 80 percentage of people living but sharing only 20 percentage of health services. Shifting the health care system from cities where 20 percentage of people sharing 80 percentage of health services. That means in India. 80% of the health services are concentrated on the cities. But there only 20% of the total people of the nation is residing. 
So that must be shifted to the rural area where 80% of the people are living but at present they have only 20% of the health services. That has to make a social justice that means 80% of the rural people should get 80% of the total health services and 20% of the city people has to be availed with the 20% of the health services. Then it will be in social justice. So that is first principle is equitable distribution. Second principle is community participation. The local community must participate in planning, implementing and maintaining the health services. So as we said it is for the people and by the people. To achieve the primary health care there should be community participation. So the local community must participate in planning, implementing and maintaining the health services, primary health care services. That means maximum reliance on local resources. So in primary health care we utilize the local available resources that is maximum reliance will be given on local resources such as man, money, material. So in India village health guide and trained dyes are selected from local communities itself. So in India village health guides and trained dyes are selected from their community itself. So community participation is must in uh, availing the primary health care services to the public or to the community. The next principle is multi-sectoral approach or inter-sectoral coordination. Multi-sectoral approach. Health cannot be provided by health sector alone. Health sector means health agencies like uh, primary health center, sub-center, uh, community health center, uh, district hospital, etc. Okay, health centers. So health cannot be provided by health sector alone. All other health related sectors should cooperate and coordinate to provide an integrated primary health care. So all other health related sectors should cooperate and coordinate to provide an integrated primary health care. Integrated health care means it includes promotive, preventive, curative, restorative, rehabilitative services. Promotive, preventive, curative, restorative and rehabilitative services. For that, all other health related sectors should cooperate and participate. That concept is called as multi sectoral approach. Moreover, multi sectoral approach would help to avoid the unnecessarily duplication of the activities. It helps to avoid unnecessarily duplication of activities. Let us see what are the different multi sectoral or intersectoral or health related sectors. First one is Food and Agriculture, Food and Agricultural Department, Animal Husbandry, Animal Husbandry Department, Housing Department, Water Authority, that is Water Supply, Water Authority, that is another health related sector, Sanitation, Public Works, Communication, Communication Department, Communication, Education Section, School, Education, and Social and Women's Welfare, Social and Women's Welfare, Panjayat, Industries, Factories or industries, cooperatives and the banks, they provide the loans, cooperatives and the uh, banks. Then transportation facilities, transportation department. So these are the major health related sectors. So primary health care would be given with the intersectoral coordination. That means health sector alone cannot provide the primary health care. It needs a collaboration and cooperation with the other health related sectors such as food and agriculture, animal husbandry, housing, water supply, sanitation, public works, communication, education, social and women's welfare, panjayat, industry, cooperatives and bank and transportation. The fourth principle is appropriate technology. Instead of going for costly methods, equipment and technology, the reliance must be placed on the scientifically sound material that are socially acceptable, adaptable and affordable by the individual, family and the community. So appropriate technology means instead of going for costly methods, equipment and technology, reliance must be placed on scientifically sound materials that are socially acceptable, adaptable and affordable. For example is oral rehydration therapy. ORS to prevent the uh, dehydration in uh, during diarrhea we are using oral rehydration therapy it is very cheap and best remedy to prevent the children or infant mortality rate the next principle is 
prevention focus or focus on prevention the emphasis on prevention runs through all the elements of primary health care. We have been just discussed the eight elements. All these eight elements focus on prevention only. So the emphasis on prevention runs through all the elements of primary health care. Moreover, primary health care we focus on levels of prevention, LOP, which includes primordial prevention, primary prevention, secondary prevention and the tertiary preventions. Other manpower development, developing the manpower for the health services, developing the manpower for the health services, that is mobilizing the human potential, reorientation of the existing health workers, all the existing health workers should given reorientation, then development of new categories of workers, motivation and training of all manpower to serve the community, motivation and training of all manpower to serve the community that all comes under the manpower development sixth principle is manpower development that means mobilizing the human potentials the manpower available in the community then reorientation of the reorientation of the existing health workers development of new categories of work new form of new type of health workers according to the situation according to the demands motivation and training of all manpowers available manpowers to serve the community so these are the principles of primary health care the last part of the session is functions of community health nurse in primary health care functions of community health nurse in primary health care there are 12 main functions first function is assessing the health status of the community people assessing the health status of the community people then mobilizing the community participation third is integrated health care Providing integrated health care that is promotive, preventive, curative, restorative and rehabilitative health services. Then conducting epidemiological surveillance to identify or detect the etiology of certain diseases or local endemic diseases. So conducting epidemiological survey. Then training and supervision of health workers. Periodical and regular training and supervision of all the health workers. Collaborating with the other sectors. Collaborating with the other health related sectors. Then uh, seventh one is elements of primary health care. There are eight elements that is the major functions in primary health care. Registration of birth and death. Registration of birth and death. Conducting school health services. School health services, occupational health services or industrial nursing. Then conducting or, or implementing all the national health programs. And last uh, function is recording and reporting. Recording and reporting. So the functions of community health nurse includes assessing the health status of the people, mobilizing community participation, integrated health care that is providing or rendering integrated health care to the community, epidemiological surveys, conduct epidemiological survey, training and supervision of all the health workers, collaborating with the other health related sectors, then uh, rendering all the elements of primary health care, registration of birth and death, school health services, occupational health services, national health program that is implementation planning and organizing various national health programs, then recording and reporting. Thanks for watching. Hope this video will surely benefits you in your studies. If you feel it is benefit and worth, please subscribe, share and like. Stay tuned with Angel Health Academy till we meet with the next and important educational video. Thank you.